Hey guys and welcome to another J3 2017 video. If you wish to unroot, return to stock firmware, if you're having issues with the system behavior, or even if you've messed it up and basically bricked your device, this video is all about how to reflash stock Samsung firmware back onto your phone. I'll show you how to return the phone's system to the state it was in when it left the store, but if you've tripped your Nox counter, be aware this will not reset it. You will need a computer, on it you'll need to run Odin, and one last thing, you need the stock firmware. You can find all Samsung firmwares at updato.com. Start typing in your model number in the search bar and select the right one. Next, select your region. This one should be right for me. Now that's brought up two results, I'll select the latest version and download the zip file. When the zip file downloads, unzip it. Here I've got a rooted J3 2017 with custom recovery installed. Let me prove that now. You see it's rooted. And here you see we have TWRP recovery instead of the stock one. So let's get rid of that. To begin the process, boot the phone to download mode. I'll select it from the recovery, otherwise you get there by turning off your phone and then pressing and holding volume down, home and power buttons together until it boots to download mode. On your computer, start Odin. Now connect the phone to your computer using a USB cable. If all the necessary drivers are installed, you'll see the first cell in Odin light up in blue and a message saying add it. Next, add the tar files from the unzipped downloaded firmware file into their respective boxes. So click on BL and select the file starting with BL and go on selecting AP and CP files. Under CSC, you can select CSC or home underscore CSC files. The difference is that choosing home underscore CSC won't wipe data from your phone and it will also leave the CSC you currently have on your phone. I'll select the file starting with CSC to wipe everything from the phone and also reflash the CSC, bringing the phone to its original as new state. All that is left to do is to click start and wait for about a minute and 45 seconds. When you get a pass message, you can close Odin and disconnect the phone from the computer. The phone will reboot and you will need to set it up for use from the beginning. Your phone is now as good as new, there's no apps or data on it other than those which it came with from the store. And just to make sure, we'll run root checker on it. This is the outcome we wanted and expected. And let's boot to recovery too, just to see we've successfully replaced our custom recovery with the stock one. Here it is, our stock recovery. That's it for this video, hope it was useful, stay subscribed for more stuff like this and until the next video, goodbye.